So, we're in a Freelander 2, the base model the S, and everything is a bit basic, including the stereo. So, I'm going to rip it out, put a new one in, see if it sounds any better. Take your time. Take that out. Ta -da! No speaker, really basic as you say. More screws, there, 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 there. Take these out. So for this bit now, we just need to take this whole cover off. So they're going to get in here underneath and slowly pull that out. Now there's an electrical connection just under here. We need to take this out. Don't pull it too much. There we go, and release that. Ah, that is fine. Pull that out, and we're there. Now, behind here, just disconnect the aero connection and that. Ah, ah. So, my radio of choice is the IXL 700 from Alpine. Mmm, yeah. shiny. Because the original stereo is way bigger than sort of normal stereos, like this one, we're going to need some additional parts to fit that. So this is a two DIN unit, twice as big as a, as a traditional car stereo. That's not a problem because you can buy blanking plates and additional fascia plates like this. Got this one off Amazon. So I'm going to fit that. But also the, the surround that comes with the Alpine doesn't fit for whatever reason. So I've had to buy another part, which is this mounting thing, the mounting frame, which is going to go in like that. And I've got a new surround that comes with that. Now it's a case of putting the wires in. So the original Land Rover loom looks a bit like that, and that's not going to fit onto the wiring loom that comes with the Alpine unit. But not to worry, you can get an additional loom from eBay or Amazon that goes onto there, like so. The other thing is there's a Fakra fitting here. Uh, that goes into the aerial, which is no good, because that won't fit. We need a ISO fitting, but not to worry, because I've bought this one, again off, off Amazon. This one fits BMW, Vauxhall and Peugeot, but it doesn't matter, it's still going to work. So let's pull that out, and then we'll fit that onto here as an adapter. So I've got the loom and the multi-core that's going to go on the back of the unit. Standard connections here. Let's just connect these. You can only go one particular way. Put those together like that. Good. Now, get those ready to go in there. The other thing is there's no ignition cable. There should be an ignition there. Um, full power from the ignition but I've had to run my own. I've taken it from the uh, cigarette lighter all the way through the tunnel and then up into here and I've made that connection. One for something later on and this one just goes to here. So let's run that. Let's start connecting things up.
put the speaker cover back in. And the last two screws just under that rubber cover. Job done. Start it up and test your work. Now that sounds a lot better already. If you want to know more about CarPlay and what you can do with it, check out my next film.